The next person I'd like to bring up is uh, Congressman Frank Ginter, the former mayor of Manchester. Frank, it's your show. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. And it's a pleasure to be back in Manchester. We uh, spend quite a bit of time every week down in Washington contemplating over uh, which line item in our massive federal budget we want to cut first. Um, and I can tell you, you have very two distinct uh, parties right now in Washington. You have the Republicans in the House who are very focused on making sure that we are friends of the taxpayer. And I'll give you an example. In our first month in, uh, in Washington, we spent uh, that first month cutting $650 million out of the federal government. When you compare that to the first month that Nancy Pelosi was Speaker, she increased spending her first month by $650 billion. It, it is a stark, stark difference to have fiscally responsible, fiscally disciplined people who care for the taxpayer. And that was just, you know, the first few votes that we took. Uh, one of the first votes that I was very proud of is that we cut our own budgets uh, in the Congress immediately because we wanted to send a message to the nation that this is not just about taxpayers' dollars, it's about how the body itself conducts itself. Um, and then we went on to, of course, take the landmark vote to repeal Obamacare. tell you, there are those in the Senate who don't particularly care for what we're sending to them. Uh, and it's, it's a stark reminder of what we need to do in 2012. We have uh, a president who stands before us and pick any crisis that we have focused on in the last 30 to 45 days, and he has been absolutely silent. As a president, that's unacceptable. For a nation, it is unacceptable. But we in the House feel obligated and feel extremely responsible to you, the taxpayer, to fight the good fight and to make sure that through the course of this first year of the 112th Congress, that you're going to see a stark difference when it comes to regulatory requirements, tax policy, spending uh, levels. And most of that is going to be uh, uh, unveiled probably the second week in April when we unveil the House budget. Uh, I, I was uh, very honored to be asked to be on the House budget committee. Uh, we meet essentially every single day working on how to frame and craft what is right now a $3.7 trillion budget, which is clearly too high considering we have $2.2 trillion in revenues. Uh, and we are looking to balance our budget, to be responsible about uh, entitlement reform and to make sure that we can have a pro-growth agenda by ensuring that we have real meaningful regulatory reform and reductions of, of tax, uh, of our tax levels, both corporate and individual. And you're going to see that in April. I think you're going to be very proud of what we're producing on the House side. Uh, but what we do need are two things. And we all have to work as a party to make sure that we get a Republican Senate and we get a Republican President. Because only until then can we truly do what the country wants us to do in being more fiscally disciplined and fiscally responsible. So it's been an honor so far to, to serve for the last couple of months. I get to come back uh, almost every weekend to see Morgan and the kids. Uh, once a month we get to be home for an entire week so we can talk with our constituents, listen to what it is that you want us to do, continue to convey down in Washington. Um, but please know that if you're going to take a trip to Washington, um, and I'll close with, with this. The office that says Frank Gift is not my office, it's your office. And I want you to know that you have every opportunity to do that. It's important for people to feel that their voice is being reflected. And I hope that I'm doing that for you now, and I hope that I can continue to do that for as long as you'll have me. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.